Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris, and I'm the Batman statue collector, but we're not talking about Batman today. We're going to be talking about Star Wars. That's right. I'm a big, big Star Wars fan, and this past weekend was Star Wars Celebration, an absolutely epic event. Some of my friends, like George from MCE, covered that event. Absolutely incredible footage, George. I wish I could have been there, but I thought it would be fun today to talk about some of the reveals and some of the first looks that we got from that event. Of course, Sideshow, our friends at Sideshow, had an incredible incredible, incredible booth. It was so awesome to see them back in a live event. I can't wait. Hopefully they're going to be at New York Comic Con. That would be incredible. But we got to see all of these statues, uh, you know, in full view, all these amazing hot toys. It was so incredibly epic. So I thought I kind of wanted to do kind of a hit or miss on that event. So without further ado, here's my thoughts on Star Wars Celebration. All right, guys, so let's dive right in. And we're basically going to be focusing on the statues uh, from the show. And, of course, this was my biggest hit. I absolutely think this looks fantastic. I've heard from so many collectors that saw this and said, hey, I'm absolutely going to pre-order it. If this was one that I was going to add to my collection, if it would be one Darth Vader, I think this would be it because it just looks incredible. Of course, part of that incredible Mythos line. But this is just so impressive. I love the way it looks. Uh, some people may, might not like the flaming sword. But I just think it looks awesome. Um, big, big hit for me. Um, there was also, of course, the premium format that we saw. Um, and I think it looks good. I, again, if you're going to choose between the two, I think you definitely would go with the Mythos. Again, that's just me. Obviously, that's not going to be quarter scale, though. So if you're a quarter scale collector, this one might be one that you want to pick up. Um, I think it looks awesome. Although I do think that some of the maybe uh, Vaders that they've done in the past have been better. But still cool if you want to add a Vader premium format to your collection. It's just, again, always cool to see Vader. Now, this one is by far just the most incredible premium format. The likeness of Rosario Dawson is absolutely incredible here. Absolutely incredible. Of course, she's going to have her own spinoff show. You saw her on the Boba Fett show, and I think even the Mandalorian as well. Um, just absolutely stunning here. Uh, Azoka Tano, absolutely fantastic. And again, I think it's one of the best likenesses that Sideshow Collectibles has ever done. It's just very, very impressive. She looks phenomenal here. Simple statue, but absolutely elegant and just perfect in my opinion. I wish I could have seen this one in person. It just looks phenomenal. Um, and of course, you also have the Boba Fett himself. Look at the weathering on this. This is absolutely incredible. The paint job here is second to none. I'm very, very impressed with what Sideshow is doing here. Hopefully, the production will match. Um, but it just looks absolutely incredible. Of course, it does have that unmasked portrait, which, which we didn't get to see here at the show, unfortunately. But it's always awesome. Again, it's always awesome to see what they're doing with the Star Wars universe. Of of course, uh, I just started watching Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm two episodes in and I really like it so far. And it's just exciting. It's just an exciting time to be a Star Wars fan. Again, I have been a major Star Wars fan since I was a kid. However, I can't collect everything, unfortunately. I wish I could, but I just can't. Uh, this one, of course, is uh, that excellent, excellent diorama. I think this one actually looks even better that we got to see it, you know, quote unquote, in real life here under real light. Um, I just think, again, it's very, very impressive. It's fun. And it might not be for everybody because this might not be what you collect, but I still think it turned out really nice. I really like the movement of the piece and I really like the movement of the sabers. I think it's very, very well executed. And again, I tip my hat to Sideshow. I think they did a really nice job here. It's not something that I would ever order. However, you know, I am a big Star Wars fan, but this is just this just doesn't, you know, wow me, I guess you could say. I really like more of the premium format. So anyway, it's still cool, though. Uh, they also had a life-size Boba Fett on display, which I think looks incredible. These are very expensive, but they are awesome. Imagine having that in your collection room. But this is something maybe more affordable, and it doesn't take up as much room. Of course, it is the, uh, the life-size bus, which I always think Sideshow uh, does a great job. I, of course, uh, used to own the uh, Darth Vader one, and I absolutely loved it. It was so hard to sell that back in the day, but I do think the, the Boba Fett looks great, but of course the one everybody has their eyes on is the brand new uh, you know, Mandalorian. It just looks really, really cool, and I love these busts. I think they're really fun. They're really fantastic, and imagine how great these would look in a Star Wars collector's room. Uh, again, congratulations to 
everybody that collects Star Wars. I'm very jealous. <laughs> I'm very jealous. Uh, we also had a General Grievous, which looks great. This is a premium format here. Um, we also, I think, saw some, and I didn't include these on the slideshow here, but we also saw some smaller versions from Iron Studios as well that looked quite impressive. Um, we also had a Kylo Ren. I love this lightness. I think it's very, very good. Uh, it does have the helmeted portrait also. Uh, I believe most of these, uh, I believe all of them actually, are already up for pre-order right now at Sideshow. I will put a Sideshow link down below if you're interested it does help support the channel so as always thank you for that but um just really really cool pieces and i really like this kylo ren this would definitely be one that if i had a star wars room i would add uh, i really like the kylo ren character uh, the ray is good but not so much i don't feel like they captured her likeness as good here um it's just okay in my opinion i do like the movement of it i do think that it has a nice flow whenever you pair her up with kylo ren but I just don't see Daisy Ridley as much here. Um, so again, that's just a bit of a miss for me, but um, I do like Kylo. Uh, we also, of course, had that Mandalorian with Grogu. Looks great. Uh, we reviewed it here on the channel uh, not too long ago. I do like this piece. Uh, I also really like the Iron Studios piece as well. Of course, uh, Baby Yoda here, Grogu, looks really cute and fun. And it's been out for a while now, so uh, if you're interested in picking this one up, it uh, does have a nice storytelling element to it. Uh, not everybody likes the pose, but I still think it looks fun. And congratulations to everybody that has picked this one up again. Look how cute he is there. Very, very cute. There were, of course, so many things that were on display at this event, and we're not going to be able to cover them all. But it just was really neat to see so many different uh, statues on display during the show it was just really cool to see all the sideshow footage and again sideshow thank you so very much for bringing all of this that that con footage for us really really cool um some other pieces went up for pre-order already actually too um that we didn't necessarily get to see a lot of but this is a darth maul quarter scale from iron studios and this is a really fun piece i love that there's two different portraits basically you have a hooded and then you have an unhooded portrait i know i saw a lot of fan buzz about this one um this is not one that i th i mean i don't think it's like the best Best portrait or the best uh, you know sculpt I've ever seen of Darth Maul but I do think it's a cool piece I think it's fun and again if you are a quarter scale collector this might be one that you want to add your collection and I will put the link down below uh, again if you are interested in, in this one because again it's fun um, is that hundred percent Ray Park to me no but I do think it looks really fun overall I actually probably prefer that uh, hooded portrait just a little bit more um, obviously it's got some great details here to it as well but you know, it is what it is. It's not my favorite, but I still wanted to show it to you uh, because it did have some really cool details. And uh, I know a lot of you are quarter scale collectors out there and it's even cooler that it's already up for pre-order as well. So again, really fun to look at that. I mean, look at that. That does look cool. I, I do really like that hooded uh, portrait. Looks menacing to me and I think it's fun. It's really, really cool. So anyway, we also had some other pieces, of course. Uh, we have Bane here, which is really, really awesome. This is from Iron Studios, but this is one tenth scale. They did come out with some one tenth scale pieces. Um, this one, again, is already up for pre-order, which is cool. Um, I loved this character, um, especially in the Boba Fett series. I wish we had seen more of him, and I hope we see more of him in the future because he is a really, really cool Clint Eastwood-like villain. It just really looks awesome. I love him in the Star Wars universe so it's really really cool to see him and I think they did a really nice job on the sculpt I would love to see this guy in quarter scale as well I'm sure a lot of you Star Wars fans out there would love to I can't imagine them not doing him but I mean look at that he looks really cool if you're a 110 scale collector and a Star Wars collector you've got to get this one really really fun really looks awesome and I really feel like they captured the spirit of the character and I like the sand base I think that's a really nice touch again it's up for pre-order as we speak. Uh, another piece that might not be for everybody, but it's really cool to see. This is a six foot two. That's how tall I am. Six foot two tall C-3PO. Uh, absolutely cool. Um, you know, and this is not for everybody, like I said, but you can pose the head. It's got the LED light up feature. You can actually move the arms, which is really cool, which we're going to see here in just a second. But imagine having something like this in your home. I mean, that would be so awesome. Uh, of course, me, I want a life-size Batman or Joker. But, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. It'd be awesome to have the C-3PO as well. This is the compartment where you can actually move the arms and stuff, which I thought was neat. Um, expensive. I think this is like eight or $9,000, something like that. Um, and again, it's up for pre-order right now. 
but it's still awesome. It's still cool to look at. We can always dream, right, about these pieces. We can always dream, if, even if we can't afford them right now or don't have the space. Or if we click Batman, you know, it's still fun to look at this Star Wars stuff. And I love this. So again, C-3PO, what's not to like? It's fantastic. Um, we can move on. Uh, again, one of this, uh, this, this one got a lot of buzz. This is the uh, Heavy Weapons Clone Trooper uh, with the speeder. Uh, sidecar, lots of great detail on this one. They, they came out with a lot of brand new hot toys uh, figures. And again, I am not a, a major hot toy collector, so I don't know all the details on the hot toys. Um, but check out the link below. You're going to see a lot of those characters um, up for pre-order right now. It's very, very awesome to see. And if you are a hot toy collector, congratulations, because they are coming out with a boatload of these things. And they all look phenomenal. So many clone troopers to collect. I think they're all really, really well done. And so many, so many, you know, figures that are coming out that are really exciting in all different universes. So really, really cool stuff from Star Wars Celebration. It's so awesome to look at this stuff. So as always, I'm going to turn it back over to you guys. What did you think of the event? And did you attend? If you did, please let me know what you thought of it. Did you have a great time? Did you visit the Sideshow booth? Again, uh, I've never been able to do something like that. So I'm again, fingers crossed that they are at New York Comic Con. I would love to meet all of that crew and to see those amazing statues in person. It would be a dream come true. But again, if you were there, let me know your thoughts. Otherwise, what pieces did you like the best? Which ones are you definitely going to be ordering because of that event or ones that you saw and you're like, wow, that just solidifies. I'm so glad I pre-ordered that statue because again, I think that there's so many amazing ones, including that Mythos Darth Vader. That is just an absolutely incredible piece. Again, I used to collect Star Wars, so it's hard not to be able to buy all these things. They just look so incredible, but I can't go down that rabbit hole. I am pretty deep into the Batman. So anyway, let me know your comments down below. Thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you right here in the Batcave. Bye everybody and may the force be with you. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.